I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! Hello everybody, Mr. Pilgrim here coming at you with a brand new Platinum Trophy Guide for Fallout 4. Now, I'm going to be skipping the intro and parts of the tutorial. The first thing that you can do trophy-wise is when you first get the baton and take out the first rat brooch here, as you'll see, you'll be actually right next to the recreational area and just in here, if you access this computer, you'll be able to play a tape and this will get you a trophy now you can play the game and then immediately just exit no problems but that'll get you your first trophy of the game and then from here you're basically just going to want to get out of here now of always you're probably going to want to fully go through the area get as much loot as you can for now I'm going to be skipping to when I get outside because once we do that then we will be getting another trophy for leaving the vault and then from there we can work on getting some general progress and setting up for the platinum walkthrough enjoy your return to the surface and thank you for choosing vault tech Alright, now once you have finally made it outside, the first thing you want to do is you want to come over to this little area here and you'll find a couple of things in these boxes, you'll find some stuff. Then from here you're basically just going to head back, loot these boxes. They'll give you plenty of things that you'll need. Now from here on the map there's actually a place that we can go... A little bit north uh, up from where we exit it's going to be a little shack it'll be like right around this part of the map so I'm gonna skip to when I'm there all right as you'll see I finally found the location it's a little weird but there will be a guy here with his dog you can find some boxes you can loot there is a dead person here get their army fatigue psycho get some ammo just a couple of things now we're actually going to head to the town specifically our home and we're gonna grab a few more things alright so while we're here in sanctuary we might as well grab our first book magazine this is required for a trophy you need a total of 10 of them while we're also here if you head into Sean's room just below you'll find a your special this can allow you to put a point into anything else that you would want I am just going to of course put it into intelligence because that means just more things um, I'm, I definitely recommend looting most of the places just giving them a good once over double checking everything if you can you know just making sure that there is Absolutely nothing. We're going to come back to Codsworth real quick as he's also a part of a trophy. For now, if we actually come over here, there's going to specifically be a house that has a tree leading up to its roof. It's very specific. It's not going to be a house like this one, the yellow one, but more or less a full standing one. Ah, here it is. So if you come around here, you can walk up this giant log and find a surprise duffel bag, which can have some stuff inside. So I'm going to go through and just loot the town and everything like that, get rid of all the enemies, and then we're actually going to go back and talk to Codsworth. So I'll see you once we have done that. Alright, so after you've investigated and thoroughly searched most of the houses, you'll find about four or five places that you can lockpick. One of which you can't because it's an advanced lock. One science or hackable terminal. 
those are pretty easy. Basically, what you'll do is you'll have to guess a um, word in the computer. When you guess on the right side, it'll tell you the likeliness of that word being correct based on the actual word. So if you get it wrong, you can look on the right side. It'll tell you, hey, this word had like three letters that were correct compared to the actual word to give you a, an understanding. And you can then also go through the code and then delete specific pieces and that will refill your chances of guessing. The best way I've done it is I guess two times and going based off those two times, I then use that to try and guess the third letter or third word. And if I don't get it right on that one, I'll then go through and start deleting all of the um, code that you can delete to try and get rid of any words because sometimes it does that and then other times it refills your guesses. If you feel like you aren't going to get it right, you can always back out and then save and then do the computer. But from here, we're actually going to go down and head off in a general direction. Talking to Codsworth, he'll give you some information about trying to um, search and stuff like that and then he'll tell you to go check out Co Concord which is pretty close by now along the way there's a couple things that you can do as you'll see here on the road you can find this dude with a very different kind of outfit I definitely recommend putting it on you can also find a tire iron which might be a little better than your standard security baton as you'll see now that one big change from the old fallout 3 and new vegas to this one is that your weapons never um degrade neither does your armor which is a plus it also kind of takes away from the old experience of the fallout games anyways we're going to continue on to red rocket hopefully by now you should have gotten at least one level <laughs> You'll find dog meat. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? And then you can recruit your first companion. You can recruit Codsworth, but we can always come back and do that okay, later, then. as he will Let's always stay at Sanctuary. Now, like always, you'll want to go through and just loot Red Rocket and stuff like that. And then we're going to be moving on to Concord. <laughs> All right, now a small side note is that if you come over here around this side of Red Rocket, there will be these mole rats that will be here. You can actually come into this cave here, back off my dog. There we go. And you can come into this little cave, I guess. Now while you're in here, if you hold your circle button, you can activate a light. In here you'll find some more mole rats, of course. Didn't mean to swing at dog meat like I did. Hope you'll forgive me. Who's a good boy? You are. Yummy brain fungus. Anyways, while you're down here, you can find some more loots. If you come over here, you can get a free fusion core, which is pretty cool. Do be careful though, as while you're over there, you'll be taking um, radiation damage. You'll find a duffel bag with a bunch of stuff. So definitely worth checking out. Don't know if there's anything else of major value. But for now, you're basically just wanting to grab as much as you can. I'll try and show off the unlock pick mini game here. Basically, you're just trying to rotate left to right. wherever you want the lockpick to go and then you'll use the right stick to try and see if it will open. 
Anyways, from here, we're just going to head back out. We're going to head up to the water tower. Now you'll be able to look up here. We'll just run all the way up. Up here you'll find a first aid kit which has some stuff on it. You'll find some purified water which definitely will come in handy. And there's somewhere... Ah, here it is. You'll find this... Opened... Chest and some mutt fruit which will actually come in handy later. So anyways, for now, we're actually going to finally head to Concord. So from here, you can kind of just run down the path. And you'll be right back where we just were. I definitely recommend having a actual pistol now. As we're now going to be fighting actual enemies. Just trying to... Make sure I'm all topped up. In this first house, I do believe you can find a lock pick up top. You can find a cap stash down below. I do believe that there's a safe up here, not a lock pick thing. I don't know why I said it like that. Can't find a Nuka Cola. I might have been wrong. It probably was the second house it's been a minute i'm sorry about that guys it'll take me some time to remember where certain things are but for the sake of just keeping things simple we're just going to head straight in now i'm going to deal with most of things and then get to the main area that we're supposed to go to Alright, so once you make it to uh, midpoint of Concord, there will be some gunshots. You'll show up, take out some raiders, and you'll be asked to help, and you'll start the quest when freedom calls. You'll want to do this as this will start a quest line that will unlock a couple of trophies along the way. So we're going to head inside and deal with that. Of course, I'm going to deal with most of the enemies along the way, so see you once I finish doing that. Alright, now once you're inside and have cleared all of the enemies, the first two things that I'd recommend doing is coming up to this cigarette container and there should be a bobby pin set on top in case you need it. This will allow you to maybe get through the skate if you put a skill point into lock picking, which I recommend doing. If you don't know how to do that, when you're in the stat menu at the very bottom, you'll see the perk chart. It'll normally say level up if you happen to have a level. You can come over here to this little side area and get some ammo. And then come down here and get this computer terminal and grab the fusion core. That'll just save you some time. But then from here we're going to actually head up the main path that you're supposed to go through. So you're going to have to come up all the way here. And then once you're here, you will meet the... Man, oh, God. I'm sorry are, about that. Anyways, you'll meet the Minutemen. What you want to do first is come in here and grab the Perception Bobblehead. This will be the first of 20. You will need to get all 20. You can also find over here on this table your second magazine. Excellent. Then we're going to talk to uh, Preston Harvey and send them back to ah, the hometown. <laughs> I don't know why I'm blinking this. You. But anyways, we're going to go through that, go through all of their stuff. We're going to meet them back at... You owe me. Yeah, sure. Thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to I'll give you my chest full do that. Just as soon as we're anyways, we're going to send them back to Sanctuary and then go through all their stuff and in doing their mission please um we will get another trophy ago, or two for helping these guys out you'll eight. then join them 
so on and so on. So yeah, once we get Sanctuary up and running and turn into a base, we will do that. This will also go through teaching you how to deal with settlements and how to build them. Sorry. So yeah, I'm going to skip to when that is all said and done and what that will look like. Alright, so once you've made it back to Sanctuary, you'll go through the tutorial section and learning how to build and scrap and stuff like that. And you'll eventually learn how to set up a generator, a power system, defenses, how to build, connect pieces, you know. You also get water, you also get food going and stuff like that. And then, you know, inside you'll also need to have beds for everybody here. This is just mainly for the people of Sanctuary. This isn't about uh, my stuff, as my stuff will be over here in this little garage section. So once you do all that, you can talk to Sturges, and then you can basically uh, complete that quest. You know, since you'll have done everything he wanted you to do. Because if you hold the touchpad, you can see everything is green, which is pretty much everything that we need to have done. Now, don't worry about the happiness just yet. That'll come into play later on. But for now, we can basically leave this as is. Every now and then, though, behind that blue house, there is going to be three wild um, moot fruit. It's best I'm going to try and pronounce that. That will respawn after three days of waiting if you want to do that. Anyways, um, from here, you're basically going to be sent to go to settlements, as you'll see like so. But for here, we're actually going to head more or less to this couple of areas, as there's a couple of uh, more... Um, magazines that we will be able to find along the way because getting as many of those as quick as we can will help because every single magazine that we have will give us a kind of stat boost in some way shape or form but along the way uh, you can also find in the miscellaneous section the bobble stand and then you can place your perception bobblehead. Now once you place the bobblehead onto these is when it will finally activate them instead of just having it on your person. So for now we're just going to be skipping to when we find the magazines and whatnot. Alright so if you make your way down here to the ranger cabin you can find your next magazine just inside here. It will be taking 5% less damage from melee attacks. So now we're going to move on to another location that'll be pretty helpful. Alright, so if you come right here to this part of the lake, you'll find this interactable circuit board. What you'll want to do is just hit the switch and then follow this line all the way up here. And up here you will find a Snub Nose 44. You'll find a couple of bobby pins. You can search the suitcase. If you open up this lid, you'll find some caps. And then if you jump up here, you'll actually find some Radaway and some Radaway. Now we're going to move on to the next location. This will get you a Fat Man, which will be pretty cool. Alright, so if you come over here to the robotics disposal grounds, just at the back here, right behind this giant robot, you will find a free fat man, which is pretty cool. And then if you follow the path I take, you can find a trunk that's got a fusion core and a military grade circuit board. Those will be at hand, come in handy later on. If you come up to the front here, you can find a fat man. Forget how to grab with this on this game so you have to excuse me but here's a free fat man uh, ammo for it then if you come inside here you'll find a terminal and just right next to the terminal terminal is a another magazine and another military grade circuit board a stim pack Grab all the duct tape that you can whenever you can, as those are very important. Another military grade circuit board. And just right here, you can find some supplies. So now we're going to move on to the next location. If you want to, you can activate the terminal and eject the.
um, hollow tape at the bottom there. You'll see. I don't know why I wouldn't let me do it. There you go. And then you can go into your inventory. Should be in miscellaneous. Here you go. Then what you can do is you can activate the sentry bot and then send him somewhere. You'll just engage. Uh, you'll just want to send him to the USAF Olivia as it's close by. There you go. He'll eventually get up and moving, and then you'll be heading close by. You can follow him if you want. Alright, so once you make it to the USAF Satellite Station Olivia, you're basically just going to want to go inside, clear out all the enemies, and in the basement there's going to be a specific um, orange utility box that you can find. It's those like weird rectangular shaped ones that are pretty thin. It'll have a key that you can unlock the door by the entrance, and in there is what I'm going to be more or less showing you. So I'm going to go through, clear everything out, then show you what's inside the room that we went through all this trouble for. So see you then. Alright, so if you happen to be able to uh, hack advanced computers, which hopefully you've invested at least a point into by now, then you'll be able to easily bypass that and go all the way to the basement and just from the entrance door you can come to this computer and then you'll be able to open up the door right here and the main thing that we're here for is just the US covert ops uh, manual this would be another book that you need out of the 10 and you'll get another uh, mini nuke and then there's also a safe in here might as well grab since you get at least you know open 50 safes and hack 50 computers such a, ris a ridiculous number has always bewildered me with these oh, nice. games but oh well so now we're gonna move on to the next area next important thing to get all right so here at thicket excavations you can find the next magazine and so when you're here you're basically just gonna want to this specific one right here in front of me do note that if you want to thoroughly explore all these locations, you can. That's perfectly fine. But in here on the desk, you'll find the taboo tattoos. This will get you a face tattoo and all that good stuff. So now we're going to actually head back to Concord as uh, I missed something that you can find in the Deathclaw little area that he pops out of. So we're going to do that. So if you want to, you can basically just fast travel there. And I'll see you then. Alright, so once you're back here in Concord, you'll notice that the area where the Death Claw came up from is open. Um, I completely forgot about this, as it's just a secret little thing. This will always be open no matter what, so you can come back whenever you want to do this. But you're basically just going to want to head down and go through the door. And then I'm going to go through clear out any enemies if there are, and then I'll show you the next magazine. Alright, so from the entrance here, if you just follow the path that I take, you will easily find the next magazine. Whoa. Kind of get a little confusing sometimes with the layout of these. But once you're here in the water area, you're just going to want to run all the way down here. So come over here, and in this side room on the floor is where you'll find the next taboo tattoos. We're now going to be moving on to the next important item. Alright, now here at the Gorski cabin, you, if you go inside, there will be a cellar you can go into. Just going to ignore the feral ghoul who got up. <laughs> but in here you will find the next magazine, and it will be just to the left on the desk. This isn't seeing my normal spawn point. Ah, 
in here. Here you go. There it is. There we go. Do be careful of the bottom cap mine, and here you'll find a terminal that you can uh, hack. As you'll see, my method isn't always the best. It doesn't always work out. Do note, like I said before, if you end up thinking that you weren't going to get it, you can always just back out and then reset. You'll get your four chances again. No problem. Anyways, we're now going to move on to the next location. Alright, so the next location that you want to find is the Mystic Pines right here. Museum of Freedom, Starlight Drive-In. While you're at the Starlight Drive-In, if you happen to have any like mole rat or food, you can cook it behind the main cinema projection. It'll be on the ground floor um, outside. But from here, you want to come here to Mystic Pines, and in the central room, you'll find your next magazine. Yes. Give you better prices when buying. So now we'll move on to the next important item to talk about. Alright, so next place you want to go to is the Corvega Assembly Plant. There's going to be a lot of enemies here, but since you're fairly low level as of now, it shouldn't be too bad. You will need to probably worry about healing a little bit, but you're just going to follow the path that I take and we will get to... Ugh. We'll get to the next place that we need to go to get the next thing that we need. It's a long ways up, so do be wary of running. Remember. Okay. Anyways, you're just gonna come up. Very specific path. probably wear your character out doing this and then you'll take a left and swing around here and you'll finally find the item that we came all the way up here for a bobblehead for repair pretty cool anyways we're now going to move on to the next location all right so actually we're now going to be heading inside of the Corvega assembly plant and we're going to be going through the area that was just to the right from where I started the last little clip It'll, there'll be a turret and stuff, there'll be two double doors you'll go through. So anyways, you'll just follow the path that I take, and we'll find what should be the last magazine that you need to get for a trophy. You won't need to get anything else after that. Ah, sorry, almost got turned around. But you'll just follow these staircases up and around. You can, like always, you can loot and stuff. There's a computer you can hack right here to activate a sentry bot who will be on your side. You'll then want to come over here. Come up these stairs. You'll activate this switch. And then when you come over here into this little room right here with the trunk, just on this little table will be another yes. Krognak the Barbarian. So now we're going to move on to anything of important that is next that you'll truly have to do. Alright, so the next place that you guys are going to want to get is, um, if you come from Mystic Pines and just follow the coast, you'll see I grabbed a few places, it's going to be Bunker Hill. This is going to be the main hub for all of the, like, wandering traders that you can eventually find, as they all can rotate around here, and it's just much easier as there's more vendors to come here to. So you'll have more opportunities for weapons, ammo, guns, armor, whatever you want. But now we're going to move on to a little bit more south and we're going to find a church. We're not going to enter the area just yet. We're just going to discover it as it's just the main point of this first video. So yeah. Alright, so the last thing we're going to talk about. I know it's really scuffed. I don't know what's going on with my pit boy here. Maybe it's going to fix itself at some point. Anyways, you're going to want to eventually make your way to Diamond City. You'll have to deal with um, getting inside. Piper and her interaction with the mayor. You can just be neutral or whatever, try and be on her side, as she is a possible companion that you can get. But the last trophy that we are going to earn in this first video is more or less just going to be, once you come here to Diamond City, you'll find this little area right here. You'll basically just want to follow this path around to here. 
Then you'll just follow it around over to here. And then you'll finally follow it over to here. And then finally you'll make your way all the way back to where we just were. And then that'll get you a trophy called Home Run. There is going to be another trophy related to uh, football. That one is a little bit more different and will be completely random sometimes as when you can get it or when you will achieve it. But for now, this is going to be the end of the first video. Hopefully all of the items and information is going to be at least slightly helpful. You at least have earned a couple of trophies along the way. Um, I will leave a link to the original video that showed me the guide for most of these early access stuff. So if you want to go and follow that more directly, you can. I will also leave a guide to all of the comic books that you can find. That will also be a guide in itself. But from here, if you want to, just head back to Sanctuary. Do the quest for Preston until you are decent with him. You'll just only have to go to three settlements and do that, and then I believe you should get a trophy. You'll have to go through, kill whatever enemies, or do whatever quest they want you to do, you know, so on and so forth. But, map's looking pretty decent. As you can see, I found a lot of stuff along the way. But, I'll see you guys in the next video.